Hey there, everyone! Welcome back to Galleon Galaxy. Let's go ahead and get right back into this now. I decided in the last episode, because I know it'd probably be really long if I went through with this. I don't want to have, like, another 40, 45 minute long video. Oh no, oh no, you have, you have five lives. Guess I died more than I thought before. I want to say this seems pretty easy, but uh, I'm just thinking about the high score. Like I, I want to think the high score ain't gonna be too hard to get, but watch it require you to collect like probably about 95% of these things. <laughs> I'm kind of doing it right now, but you know it don't really matter this time. I have to be able to do it next time, or whichever time it is that I attempt the high score. I mean, a lot of people could say, well, hey, this is good practice for when you actually have to do it. And that is true, but the thing is, uh, you know, it's like, the thing is with me, it's like, I'm one of those people that, like, tend to be able to do something, you know, like, I have beginner's luck with things a lot of the time. Like, I tend to do something really well, like, the first or second time, and then, like, every subsequent try, I just fail and fail and fail. So even if I do manage to get, like, almost all these things the first time through, I might do terrible the next time. Like, it was just a lucky fluke, basically. I, I really wish that if you got, like, a score high enough to beat the high score on your, like, you know, first attempt through the minigame, like, you know, I, I really wish they would just go ahead and give you both rewards. I mean, that's what they did in Banjo Tooie. It's like, you know, it's like when you had mini games that involved getting points and stuff. It's like there were always like multiple rewards. Like you got a Cheeto page for a certain number, you got a Jiggy for another number, and it's like if you got enough points for all the stuff, it would just give you all your rewards, like right there. Oh, hey, there's the end. Wow, I must have been really close before. I, I can't believe I just missed all of those. Seriously? Well, at least we beat it. Can't we just have both, you know, if I got the high score? Yeah, sure. Let's see what the high score is. And probably cringe terribly. Oh, really now? I deserve my second pagey! Well, whatever. Let's do this. Okay, so yeah, up and over, um, I really don't see the big deal with this mini game. It's it's not that hard. Hurdle hijinks was way harder than this.
Ah, man. Almost did that with no deaths. Ha! Get schooled, Rextro. I'm the master of old school here. Shattered. I guess the only Rextro games left are three in Ivory Towers, and I have no idea if you get pages for those. Actually, I have, um... How many? I have, like, seven pages left to get? So that makes six pages if they all gave you pages. You know, two pages from each. And I know that one of them was in that, you know, big machine that's, like, sucking up books and stuff. Hmm. Oh yeah, there- oh yeah, there was another pagey in the glass tube, like, near, uh, Tribal Stack Tropics. We can get that since we can, you know, since we have Reptile Rush. Uh, I don't know, maybe the ones in Ivory Towers don't give pages. I'll still play them, though, just for fun. Because I am curious what they're like. But that's neither here nor now, so let's see what else we can do. I think we've almost got this world finished. I mean, I still have... Yeah, I still have seven left. Gotta get the health extender. Oh, yeah, I still need to get a... Um, a Ghost Rider, too. What I want to do now, though, is I want to get in the ship. Or I want to become a ship. <laughs> I want to go to that little island where the weird, like, turtle moon thing was. Because I want to see what I can do with that. Of course, I have to find where it actually was. Uh, let's go check these out, though. I just realized, just, there must be a load of uh, quills hidden out here. I have no idea what I just heard. I should probably turn around and look. Oh, oh hey, it's the Ghost Rider. Come on, get back here. There we go. Oh, right, there's two. Oh, yeah, there's two more Ghost Riders I need to find. Also, oh, hey, we haven't been on this island. Have we? No, that's the entrance to the big moon right there. Okay, let's not get sidetracked. Let's focus on the thing that I was going to do. We will worry about that soon. Oh, here it is, I think. I think this was it over here. Yeah, you gonna, like, do anything?
Oh. Well, isn't that nice? Oh. We should probably make ourselves scarce. Well, it looks like it's time for the boss, everybody. Now, from what I understand, or from what I know, well, no, it is fact, um... This is the only, um, th this is the only boss theme that, uh, Steve Burke composed. Like, as far as I know, um, his, his contributions to the soundtrack were the eight arcade themes and this particular boss theme, so... Yeah. Wait, what am I doing? She's shooting fire at me, I need to hit it with ice. an interesting boss. I'm not sure I, I'm not sure if I like it as much as uh, inept. Years and years of playing video games. When fighting a boss, if you see something large pulsing and glowing, it's probably a weak point. I might lose this. Oh, is that your best insult? I guess now we just have to take care of the fire ones. So, are you finished? I mean, i pretty sure I destroyed all your weak points. You know, no matter how many of those things you shoot out at me, they're still really easy to dodge. Real easy. I thought it was still in a cutscene, actually. Okay, so I guess the real boss battle begins now. Oh. Not really the real battle, but, you know, final phase. Oh. Okay, so it breaks off her attack if you can hit her. Oh, that's it. And we survived that somehow. Achievement unlocked. Planetary Annihilation. Well, that's every boss in the game down, aside from Capital B, so... Hmm. Well... 
not sure what to do now. What is this? Oh, that's just one of the little islands next to the pirate ship. Well, you know, I guess at this point, um... Uh, yeah, let's just go here. Let's go in here first. You know, this whole time I was saving the big moon for last, because I was kind of thinking that might be where the boss was, but... I guess not. <laughs> I'm guessing we have to do this. Okay, obviously we need to use camouflage. So that's the trick, you just have to stand on them for long enough to open the door. I'm gonna assume you also have to get out without getting caught. Oh yeah, that, hey, I can shatter that with sonar explosion. Okay. Okay, I guess getting caught doesn't have any uh, consequence as far as doors go. Whoa! You know, every one of these can be bypassed by just using camouflage. Oh hey, there's quills up there. that one do? I already opened the door. Is there another door? Oh. Oh, well, okay. That worked out well, I guess. I guess that's everything in here. I guess now it's finally time to go inside the giant moon. Well, after I look around up here, I didn't even I didn't even really look up here on this building, did I? Oh, there's another entrance. Our moon exploration will have to be delayed. So I want to go up here too. There is nothing up here. Okay, then. Well, let's see what's in here. Then. 
Wait a minute. Wouldn't this be a great place to hide something? Considering how big this room is... Oh? Hey, I was thinking the health extender might be hidden way up there somewhere. I guess not. Where is this going to take us to? Let's find out. Well, we're still in... Oh. Well, I think I found the majority of the remaining quills. How many do we have left here? 30? Okay. I'm not sure if that whistling is for the quills or the health extender. I have no clue. It's coming from the left. Now it's coming from the right. Oh! Water! almost got crushed. That would have been very bad. I hear a pagey. Still hearing it. Oh, hello! Alright, the last one is in Hivory Towers somewhere. option? No. I'm not understanding. Yeah, I do want to, hold on, I do want to check something. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, that's it. I have to, oh, right. Okay. I was thinking, hmm, I want to move that to the right. But it seems I can't. I was thinking, hey, maybe there's quills hidden under it. Okay, I think that's everything. I guess now it's time to finally make our way inside the big moon. How many quills do I have left? 25, okay. 25 sounds like a good solid number to put inside some massive thing like that. I think I've been inside every other thing in this world, too, so... Oh, well, hey, I see some quills over here already. And I hear whist whistling. 
I'm guessing that's for the quills. Oh, this is terrible. I'm so sorry about that, Yuka and Laylee. And that too. Okay. Wait a sec. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, we're not whistling anymore. I guess that was the quills, then. You know what? I'm gonna cliffhanger it right here. What awaits inside the giant moon? We'll find out next time, and hopefully finish this world. See ya, everyone. See ya, everyone!